Okay, well, I've got this awesome new gaming computer, but I don't know how awesome it is. Uh, I don't really have anything I can use to test it and really push it, because the games that I play are kind of old. I mean, even City Skylines that I'm playing right now uh, is a few years old. So I downloaded this piece of software called Heaven Benchmark, and it's a few years old as well, I believe. I mean, it, it's for DirectX 11, and I think 12 is now uh, the new standard. At least my graphics card is 12 capable. Um, so I'm running this and uh, checking out what I get. Uh, the settings that you can uh, turn on are pretty intensive, it looks like. Uh, I was running this without tessellation and without recording, and I got a score of 3,000. I'm not sure what the cap is, but I think that's pretty good. So we're just gonna go through this and uh, maybe see what I get running this with the tessellation on and uh, 1080p at 60 frames a second recording to see if that really drops it down. I mean, down here in the bottom, my FPS is maintaining over 60, so uh, I'm, I'm having... Uh, High hopes for this. Looking at this now, actually, I mean, this this is beautiful, but uh, it reminds me of something I saw online a while ago about uh, Skyrim, and it was like Skyrim with a hundred mods, and it kind of looked like this, and it makes me want to do a playthrough of Skyrim and see if I can't get that to uh, get that to work. Because it would be pretty awesome to play Skyrim if it looked like this, I think. I don't think there are very many playthroughs of that game. Of all the thousands on YouTube, I don't think there are many that uh, look like this. But, um, I mean, this, uh, my computer uh, is running a GTX 1070, so it's not even the highest of the high end of the new graphics cards that have come out. Um, but I'm very impressed so far uh, with what I've managed to play. I mean, City Skylines, uh, having everything turned on to highest, and uh, the rain, and the reflections, and just being able to whip around the camera without any stutter or any lag, impresses me a lot. Mostly because I've been playing for years and years uh, with a subpar computer, so to finally have something that's, uh, at least I think it's high-end, supposedly it's like high-mid-range, but uh, I, I'm very pleased with uh, what I've got right now. So we're at scene 19 out of 26. This goes for, I think, about five minutes, and there was a little bit of judder right there. I did notice with the lights is where this seems to give you just a little bit of a stutter. The diffuse lighting, not so much, but it's the uh, the particle effect off of flames and lighting. And right there, we're having a little bit of lag and lag and jag. But uh, the tessellation turned on is what's giving it that texture, having things pop out like that. And so I imagine that's also going to have some pretty deep effect on how well this scores overall. But. Uh, yeah, it ran like butter without that on, without recording. So we're coming up on the end here. Let's see what I get. Okay, about almost a thousand less. Uh, still, I think, fairly decent. Um, I mean, for me in particular, I'm totally fine with this. Um, let's see if I can't go for a walk around. Now, I think that is where this is really going to be its own thing. Can I, can I move? Can I not? Ah, there we go. I got stuck. Uh, because this is just a little bit different than a preset on the Rails camera, uh, especially if you're looking around like this all the time. But 
Uh, this would, I mean, this would be a very, very cool looking game. And, you know, eventually uh, this is going to be like the old technology. This is going to be like, wow, really? Games used to look like this? Such is the way. That's pretty neat. Without the tessellation, it's, uh, it's quite a bit less intensive, that's for sure. Okay, well, anyway, uh, I think I've proven a point, at least to myself. Uh, if this was of interest to you, I guess that's also a plus. So, uh, I do have, or will have, a separate video, uh, kind of a companion video with this, going over the actual build of the computer that I'm currently running. So, uh, if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and check it out. I'll see you next time.